Hi, welcome back to the Kitos YouTube channel. Today, we're going to take a look at how to create an Acme server that can be used to issue Acme certificates for either your ADCS existing CA or if you're using an Easy CA CA, your Easy CA. And all this is going to be done in less than 10 minutes, even with me talking about it. So let's get started. So the first thing we need is a Windows server with the web server installed and now we're going to go to web deploy and here I'm just searching for the binaries in the documentation. I'm going to scroll all the way down and all this information is now is in our docs that I'm also going to link down below if you prefer the text version so you can follow the links and everything is going to be uh, linked down below. So now in here I'm just going to install the web deploy and then I'm going to copy it into here and then I'm going to go through the installation. I do have to do the custom. So here I was just pulling up the documentation to make sure that I do the right thing. And I click the complete, sorry, and I installed the web deploy. So once that's done, I click finish. And I copy the binary for .NET hosting that also will be linked in the documentation I'm going to link. And now we're going to wait for this to finish installing. And as you can see, I'm doing all this real time, just with the voiceover afterwards, just so you see that it actually takes that long. So now it finishes installing. I'm going to open the tab where I have my easy smart card on my main machine. So now we are here and I'm going to go to the CA that I'm going to connect this to. And this could be, as I mentioned, it can be a Keto CA or it can be your own ADC SCA. And here we're just setting the subject name that we're going to use to authenticate. So like this is a server that like, the certificate that the server will use to authenticate to easy CA. And as you can see, we can do the health checks, but if not, you'll have to call the, the health API to because that's one of the ways that it actually auto rotates a certificate. So uh, if it's not a available from the internet and you can't have ECCA do the health checks for you, you'll have to write your own application that will call that API to make sure that we have it. So now I'm downloading the, the INF file so we can create the certificate. And in here I'm just setting that the machine key set is set to true um, since this is actually going to be used by IIS. And now I'm going to copy that into the server. And I'm going to run the cert request. And in here, I'm just going through my history and just changing the name because I'm lazy. And now I have the CSR. I'm going to copy that, that text back to my main machine so I can uh, request a certificate from EZCA. So I'm going to go here, enter the CSR request a certificate. And this also shows how easy it is to request a certificate with ACA. We're going to download the public part of the certificate so we can install it in the server. And now we paste the certificate here. We install it in the local machine. We do next, finish, and the import was successful. It's important to show that the key never left the server. So the, the private key never left the server, which is the best practices for issuing certificates. And now in here, I'm just downloading the signed version of my ISS, but I had already downloaded my ISS setup script, sorry. So I'm just gonna go to my machine, copy it into the server. And uh, this is kind of like, and this is in the documentation. This is how you um, set up the stuff for your setup script. So in here, I'm just leaving kind of like the easy CA Acme name for the website, the directory, all this kind of the same. In here, we have to change the Acme certificate subject. So this is the certificate we use to authenticate. And the other certificate, the my Acme .domain local, that's the certificate that you use for your Acme server. In this case, you in the app insights, you would put the connection string to your um, App Insight, so you get the information of how your server is doing, any exceptions or anything like that. And then the agent URL that 
we're basically going to bind the certificate to uh, that you can see here is the certificate that I'm going to change the name to to be the same and you have to issue that certificate but you can set up if you're using an internal certificate you can set up automatic rotation with easy CA or you can just um, set up with WinAcme if it's like a public endpoint or something like that uh, and here you can see I just did it in the wrong uh, thing but in here I just run it again I, I did the wrong PS1 the, the name the, of the file now it's actually downloading the binary for um, the actual website and it will install it it will do everything for you and once this finishes installing you should be able to test it and, and run it so now we wait Actually, I'm going to cut the video in here just so we're not just standing waiting. A few moments later. So now that it finished downloading, we can actually test the test API to make sure that everything is running. So in here, I'm just going to open Google Chrome. I'm going to copy the domain that is the domain that I had slash API slash health slash overall. And then we can see that there is a success message. And that's how easy it is to set up an Acme server with EZCA. And now it will be able to issue certificates to all the machines that request from it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.